2v2 Caladera Safari blue team. We've got Rosie as a Farsia support commander fights melee, has loads of buffs. Alongside Davy as a force commander offensive melee, pretty versatile, can buff his marines as well. This is Imperial Fists recolored. And red team, we've got a bunch of angry orcs, two war bosses. This is Angry Noob and Putin. They are melee commanders, very good at disruption and buffs. Can put out some pretty serious damage as well. Putin's coming right to the center. Be interested to see if the Bang Bang Hammer makes an appearance, which is a pretty ridiculous weapon right now. 150 power melee damage for 25 power cost. What's that? That's 195 damage per hit to heavy armor which would kill a tactical marine model in two hits. The war boss does attack quite slowly and does special attacks quite often. So it probably balances out. I mean, some people think it's overpowered right now. I don't think it is because his power claw is so tempting with its anti-everything damage that the Bang Bang Hammer really needs to fill that niche of power melee. And of course, you have the buff that it gives you and surrounding allies. But this warboss might go down right here. Angry Noob. 22 hit points, 20 hit points. Banshee's still chasing, but they get away, I think, yes. We see double shooters from both Orc players. We're talking about the Bang Bang Hammer, we don't even know if we're going to see it. I think you should get it, though, really, against a Space Marine player. We will see. Banshee's for Rosy, I think, is a little bit risky. Big shooters bound to make an appearance to suppress them. Also, the warboss can disrupt them. Farsia goes after the shooters to tie them up so the Guardians can fire. But they're still getting sharp here and Slugger's coming after them and Raji will be forced off as a Shuriken Cannon on the way. Stormboy's on the way for Angry Noob very quickly over on the east side where there is a natural blue VP. Space Marines looks like they have scared off the Orcs for now. Slugger's still waiting around but they won't be able to do much. Shotguns on his scouts already. And double scouts for Debbie. Other squad still has their bolters and the sluggers run away and they're gonna decap this wreck point. Good start for blue team. Very nearly took that war boss out, but he's back out with four hit points. And has sorry, looters, not storm boys. I always get that portrait mixed up. Set up team that suppressed. Very nice burst damage, but they take an age to reload. Shuriken sets up. Looters set up. Looters can also infiltrate. Scouts in retreat. Tactical Marines milling around the center. Where's that Force Commander? He is also in the center. Blending in with the metal floor there. Assault Marines on the way for Davy. Big shooters on the Shooter Boys. Both Shooter Boy squads. In fact, only one Shooter Boy squad doesn't have a big shooter on the entire map. Usually the first upgrade an orc player will get. They do have a knob leader though. Allows you to be aggressive early on, which is what orcs are all about. And they're now hitting this blue power, which has three gens. None on this power, which is odd because it's a bit easier to defend. Reds also have three gens up. Looters are going to be tied up by the Farsia, yes, and she gets a special attack off straight away, Shuriken refacing to shoot the shooters and they're going to be shut down by suppression, looters forcing melee, and there's aiming what's that to suppress that Shuriken, these looters in a bit of trouble here, especially since Guardians are hanging around with a retreat grenade, and there they go, can he pull this grenade off, will he even go for it, there it is, there's the attempt, Nicely done, but just a bit short. Double shooters now force off the Guardians. Will they force melee? No. They love the Dakar. And Rosie lost that Shuriken Cannon. Debbie has Assault Marines on the field. Disruptive melee unit that jump into combat. Bolt pistols and chainswords. Both scout squads now with shotguns. Short range weapon which counters melee units with a knockback and suppression. Force commander 
killing shooters with his chainsaw. No war gear for this guy. Ouch. Shooter boy squad lost for angry noob. Ran into the wrong fight. The shotgun's pretty nasty close up as you can see. I think they do a small AOE damage. Orcs here holding back. 409-475. It's a one to one. But tactical marines are capping the center. Heavy ranged infantry, very versatile and tough. Here comes double shooters and sluggers. And they both have shooter boys. Both have their knob leaders and... No, only one squad has a big shooter. Here's the looters. I don't think they're going to be able to stop those assault marines though. There's walk into combat. Here comes sluggers. And there's use your choppers on those sluggers. And for retreat, use your choppers used on both slugger boys. That's a global ability of the war boss. A fantastic buff for melee units. But it looks like it's largely wasted here. As they just retreated away. Now they are hitting power though. And look at this. Putin taking the eastern VP. Here comes Roshi. With these banshees which have done pretty well. Up against... Looters and double shooter boys with big shooters, they've done very well. Almost take out those looters. One model, 49 hit points. War boss in melee with the banshees, and it looks like we don't see the bang bang hammer in tier one. We do have angry bits on Putin though, and Rossi can now hit power. Looks like guide is on these banshees, that's the default ability of the Eldar Farsia. Fantastic buff. Lots of pressure here from Putin. Here comes Davey in response. Ouch, Force Commander dies to Shooter Boys. They put out some pretty nice DPS, these guys, in Tier 1. Assault Marines get their Sergeant, but lose a model. And there's most of the strike. Ouch, almost wiping those sluggers outright. And now they jump the Shooter Boys. Assault Marines, such a good counter in general to range units, but they jump right into the looters there. Both Orc players now have a loot squad. And Angry Noob is tier 2 and has a weird boy, but he's been suppressed here. Sub commander for Orcs. Very nice anti blob capabilities. That's his warp bomb. It's stunning that shuriken, and this is a dead war boss. Unless he gets a lucky special attack. No. Banshees take him out. Looters suppressing these guardians. They're trying to get close enough for a grenade, I think. And there it is right on the center of those looters and they lose one model they were quite spread out though use your choppers on these sluggers banshees getting torn to pieces they do get away though and have their exar queued up for tier two now go up against the farcia look at them constantly knocking her down with that buff to their melee skill from use your choppers but she does save her stealth with spirit stones can she get away though also has rune armor Gives her way more energy, as you can see. 235 energy at level 2. It's a really good armor for her. Assault Marines with their sergeant, still level 1. Once these guys start leveling up, they're so dangerous. Force Commander has his Thunder Hammer. Very, very bad news for melee units. Power melee, splash damage. And has Artificia armor on the way. Some rumblings that the Force Commander's war gear a bit too cheap, especially Artificia. War truck on the way for Putin, Angry Noob has more shooter boys. And they have a knob leader and big shooter already. No war gear for his war boss though. But he is back up. Putin has the devastating power claw. Shuriken gets shot to bits and gets away. 2 to 1 for blue. 3 to 1, 4 3 6. Davey looking pretty nice now. Has sergeants on his marines. And kitting out his force commander nicely. Teleporter back. Here comes the war boss though. Charges in with now I'm angry. And that claw is going to do serious damage to everything. But he is forced off. Very isolated for some reason. Didn't bring the orcs with him. And it's a two-pronged attack by Blue Team onto Angry Noob. And he's in full retreat. The Sluggers are still here though. Have their knob leader. 
do not have Furnace yet. The war boss will go down to the Farseer. Levels the Farseer to three. She has her Gravity Blade. Don't see this thing all that often. Sing and Spear usually favoured, but it's a very nice weapon. Or top cooldown on the looters. They retreat, but they are finished off. War truck on the field for Putin. Support vehicle for Orcs. Reinforces and transports them very cheap as well. And here comes Debbie with some nice marine forces. Assault marines jump in. Force commander teleports after the looters. Here comes some sluggers though. With them they'll be the quite dangerous. Don't have burners yet. Shooter boys need to get into the war truck. There we go. Debbie doesn't really have a vehicle counter. No missile launcher. Does have a melter bomb. Use your choppers on these sluggers. And the assault marines are dying and need to run away. So do scouts. Might finish off the scout squad. No, one hit point does go down. Tactical marines also running away. Look how scary Use your choppers in. On a lowly slugger boy squad. Hard boys was also on them. Scared off entire marine force. Force commander trying to get a rear arm hit on this war truck. Teleports. One more shot will do it. And there it goes. Everything gets out. See how bunched up everything is when you destroy a transport. A well-timed grenade can really do nicely there. Warboss with Power Claw up against Force Commander with Thunderhammer. Thunderhammer is more for taking out blobs, but will constantly disrupt the Warboss with Battlecry used. Battlecry is now worn off. Warboss doesn't have a armor upgrade and is forced off. Both commanders are level 2. 1061 hit points for Force Commander though. Warboss with 903. West side. Here comes the Autark. Has her shield and her spear. She's ready for action. Leaping into combat with the Weird Boy. Who's taking a lot of damage here. There's the Warp Vomit and he runs. Banshee's in combat with Shooter Boys. Shooter Boys need to run. Very late to retreat there. And they survive thanks to their Nob Leader I think. And this is what also needs to run. Angry Noob not having the best of times after looting that losing that looter squad and we have a looted tank for Angry Noob we'll be in trouble if these Banshees and Autark can get into combat with it but they are forced off Autark actually buffs surrounding units you can see the blue marker there very quick on her feet can he deal with this looted tank then? No singing spear for the Farseer. There's spirit stones. Here comes sluggers. Roji going for warp spiders. Shuriken forced off by the tank. Not much he could do. Warboss is still down here. Here comes Davey to help out. Hard boys on the sluggers. The salt marines jump in. Warboss in their face though with that power claw. And there's the gravity blade. Levitation field is the name of the ability. Looted tank taking tons of damage. Force squad and now has his power fist and that's a dead tank. Ouch. Use your choppers on these sluggers. Force commander runs away. Warboss in retreat. As are sluggers. Shooter boys shooting but here come warp spiders and look at the damage those shooters are taking now have their XR bang excellently done by the weird boy and they run away lost the model as well gonna be a two to one for red tier three for Putin angry noob has a tank on the way so he's also tier three Here is Putin's. Knocking stuff over. Looters taking the central VP. Might have a triple here for red. Banshees fully upgraded with their aspect. Getting a damage reduction buff. I think it is from the Autark. She's chasing off a weird boy. Puts her shield up. What are the Banshees doing? They are suppressed. 
and this is a dead Autark. She needs to jump away, but she doesn't have the energy to do it. And forces off the Orcs. Very lucky that they were forced off Widboy, taken out as well. Excellently done by Rosie. Widboy explodes on death. 253, 254. Very close, but Reds have a triple, and they have the map here. And a knob squad on the way for Putin. Baby looks like he lost that scout squad and has replaced it. And gave them shotguns. Here is Levitation Field, but it's only caught one slugger. And he survives. Two looted tanks on the field. Aspect of the Warp Spider does give them a Haywire Grenade. And Blues take mid. Need to take their natural back, and Guardians are doing it. 200, 254, tier 3 for a Davey. Red team, looks like they're going to hit mid, maybe. Not sure what Davey's up to. Going after these shooter boys. Scares them off. Where is Rozic? Center. Might see a massive 2v2 scrap here. 197253. Tanks. Along the edge of the circular area here. Oh, the knob squad though. Webway gates going up. And here we go. Tank. Assault Marines jumping into a knob squad. That's crazy. They put the melter bomb on the tank, but need to run now. Frenzy from the Orcs, used a bit early, weren't taking any damage. And those Marines just about get away. Power Fisted Force Commander going after this tank. Melter Bomb snares it for so long. And Force Commander takes it out, but can he get away? These knobs now have their U jammers even more fearsome in combat. And does get away or not. Use your choppers on the sluggers just to take out that force commander, and it works. Banshees run away from the mid. Have they leveled? They are level 3. Warboss can take it. Reds need to recap stuff here. Sluggers have their no bleeders. Still no burners for either slugger squad, which would give them a couple of power weapons. Suppose they're doing fine without them. Level 3 and level 2. Eldar Farseer running. Using a fleet. And here comes Davy to defend the VP Autark caps. Don't need two squads capping. Force Commander revived. Farseer levels to 6. Force Commander level 4. Switching back to his hammer. Warboss level 3 for Angry Noob. Has the trophy rack. And Putin's is level 4, fully kitted out, has heavy armor now. 1895 hit points to level 4. Bit of a lot in the action as blue team regroup for a push on the middle. Where are the tanks? Only one is alive, and it's on the west side. Guardians cannot do anything. Slugger's trying to get into retreat path there. And they take out one model, two models. And it's kicking off in the middle. Autark jumping in, healing these assault marines, and shoot this run. Swampum used by the sluggers, and there's knobs in there who use frenzy. And force mother dies. Double scouts in there, assault marines in there, here's the Farseer. Force mother tossed aside, and there is levitation field. Has picked up the war boss, but nothing else. Warboss goes down, Angry Noob. Knob Squad and Sluggers coming in, and here are some Assault Terminators going right off this tank. Dunhammers and Storm Shield and Knobs are going after them, are they? No. Sluggers taken out in retreat, surely. No, get away, level 3. Can the Warp Siders finish them off? If they teleport again, they would, but they don't. And blue team hold center. 2 to 1, 1 3 2, 1 8 8. 
assault terminators are beastly melee unit. Shooters decap the east and then run away. Roji looking a bit thin. Guardians, Banshees and Warp Spiders. All they have. Tank taking shots at these Guardians. They don't lose a model there. Oh, yes, they do. An ally has gained control of the victory Here come Banshees. Infiltrated momentarily from the Webway Gate. And bang, there's a Haywire Grenade on the tank and this might be a dead tank. Execution of Spear on the Banshees takes it out and there's a heal from spirit stones as well and now Roger is taking the west side and blues might have a triple here what a turnaround librarian on the field for Davey so terminate is knocked down by the war boss and they're in a bit of trouble here I assume they can teleport yet that teleport is now on pull down terminators cannot retreat Still no weapon for Angry Noob. He is dead. Force Commander smacking an orc up with his hammer is now in a lot of trouble. And gets away, unbelievable. Librarian uses smite on Nob Squad. Double knobs though from Putin. Plasma gun on the tactical marines will help them against the heavily armoured knobs. Here comes Angry Noob to the west. Has heavy armour. Reds almost lost all that power there. Warp spiders need to teleport out. There they go. Hard boys on the sluggers. Not using Swampum though. And taking a lot of damage here. Might go down. Banshees can't quite finish them off. Got these Banshees and this Farseer in loads of trouble. Look at the stuff in the retreat path. There's Levitation Field. Nicely done. Banshees can now whack on this stuff. But they do get a damage resistance while they're in that field. And now Banshees in big trouble cannot stand against the Nob Squad and run away. Farseer taking loads of damage from the shooters. Bang! Fire Prism shot. Excellently done on the shooter boys, and he's not retreating him now. He is level 10 Farseer. Poor Squan is gonna die. What is he doing? Goes down. Assault Terminators taking quite a lot of damage here. No sign of their claws yet, which they should do. So tempting to keep them with hammers because they are tougher, but the claws. Just turn them into DPS monsters and allows them to take out enough squads. If they are leveled, that is. Farseer, Levitation Field on the Nob Squad and is staying in combat. What is she doing? She's gonna die. Fire Prism knocks down her and the knobs. And one more hit and she'll die. Farseer does not get away. I thought she was going to escape then because of the fire prism. But she has taken the west side, so well done, Rossi. And scouts are taking the east. 10294, a triple for blue. Can they see this out? Dealing with the knob squads by simply avoiding them so far. Force Commander still down. And now cannot be revived. Fire Prism doesn't want to show its rear armor to anything. Here come Assault Terminators. And these shooters are being dealt with easily by that Fire Prism. Has two types of shot, a spread shot and a focus shot. Spread shot, mostly preserved for infantry. Here comes a whole bunch of angry greenskins though. Warboss charges in. And here come double knobs from Putin. Tank busters on the way for Angry Noob. And a huge engagement's gonna kick off here. Assault Terminator is taking tons of damage already. Here's an auto being called in. Shooters shooting. Knobs. Very slow to get into the action. Not the quickest unit. Fire Prism very static. Should have started moving way sooner and goes down. Don't even need those tank busters. 
Do the knobs get away? They do. Assault Marines jump the shooters. Assault Terminators look like they lost the model here. Still have their hammers though. And Assault Marines taking tons of damage in this melee. There's most of the strike when they need to get out and they can't jump out and they just used all their energy and he's going to lose that squad. That is a huge mistake. Should have jumped them out instead of most of the strike. Assault Terminator is in big trouble. I assume they have used their teleport. Looks like they had all three models in fact, but now don't. And this might be a dead Assault Terminator squad. Assault Terminators of course cannot level anymore. And knobs can. And they are level 2. And Assault Terminators go down. Davey now has a Dreadnought. A risk. Can be powerful. Look at this, 49-2 and Reds have a triple. Can they pull this off with two VPs remaining? Librarian is dead. And these knobs are just ripping through everything. Really big blow losing that fire prism I think. Should have got it moving much earlier. Those are the orcs dying here, but here come those double knobs. There's angry bits. Should get the boss pole to buff these knobs I think. There's a shotgun blast and there's a spirit stone heal from the Farseer. There's level 10 Farseer. The war bosses are 5 and 9. Force commander level 5. And there's the victory for red. Unbelievable. Two VPs remaining so close. Excellent back and forth fight. Few little mistakes from blue team in losing units. Those assault marines going down. That fire prism going down. It was pretty much this engagement over here that won it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.